So let's start with our diagnostic instruments. Here I have diagnostic instruments and this is a mouth mirror. Then we have some explorers or probes and this is a straight explorer or straight probe. Then some explorers, this is a double ended instrument as you can see. This is a shepherd's hook or curved explorer and this is an interproximal explorer. It's also called Bright's explorer. Then we have tweezer. We also have some periodontal probes and this particular one is a Williams periodontal probe. As you can see some markings. So these were our diagnostic instruments. Now let's move on to hand cutting instruments. Let's start with chisel. This is a straight chisel. Then we have enamel hatchet. Enamel hatchet, as you can see, this is also a double ended one. Then we have a spoon excavator. Then we have a discoid cleavage instrument. This is a disc shaped discoid and claw shaped cleoid instrument. Then we have GMDs. GMDs are curved. They are mesial distal left and right. I'll make another video of how you can distinguish between them. So these were our hand cutting instruments. Now let's move on to our restoration instruments. We have some cement spatulas. This is a stainless steel cement spatula and this is an agate spatula. We also have a cement carrier. It has two ends. One is kind of flat and the other one is sort of cylindrical. Then we have some condensers. These are parallelogram condensers and this is a round condenser, cylindrical, pardon me, this is a cylindrical condenser. These are serrated, there are also non-serrated variety available. Then we have some carvers, let's start with this one, this is a Holland back carver. Then here let's take both of these. This is a walls carver and this is a wards carver. Then this is a diamond shaped carver. We have an amalgam carrier that I absolutely forgot. This is an amalgam carrier. Then we have a burnisher. This particular one is a ball burnisher. 